last day in St. Bart's. Um, I'm so sad, but I'm very sad, very happy. And when I return home, um, everybody who knows me will be getting a happier, more chilled out version of me. <laughs> My boyfriend is checking in. I don't know why we're checking in in advance like this. Probably because I have a missed flight. I should just show. 2024 has been quite the year. So far, we've experienced a lot in this year, 2024, when it comes to cougar and sugar baby relationship. Because let's not even talk about what we've been hearing, Satisa's news that came out, or Satisa's story time that she did, 50, 50 something episode, guys. 50 something episodes on TikTok. She spoke about who the hell did she marry. That one was even story for another day. I was um, taking a break from YouTube and social media as a whole and I was like, I wanted to talk about this when it was going around and people were talking about it. I wanted to talk about it but I, but I was like, okay, since I'm still taking a break, let me just leave it. Guys, I promise to give my two cents on that particular story when I'm well settled. And we're going to talk about the Satisa story, who the F did I marry? And I'll give real life scenarios of my own experience when I was in a relationship. So first, before we even talk about anything, welcome to my channel. My name is Cecilia. I'm a gossip vlogger based in Lagos, Nigeria. I also talk about fashion, lifestyle, travel. So if you like those type of things, you are in the right place. Now, let me tell you about what has been giving me sleepless nights this past few this past few months that I'm going to I know I'm late in the game. I know I'm late in talking about this thing. But what triggered me was a Oki Simon story that just came out. I was like, ah, before we start throwing stones, let us first talk about our honorable mentions. Those that set the stage for this particular story or for this particular incident. This particular, let's not call it a tragedy. Because to me, it's kind of crazy to me as someone who is a little bit older than Aoki it's kind of crazy that man is my dad's age mate and I will never do what she did even though I'm older than she is I will never date someone as old as my dad kudos to her for what she did but before we cover that story our honorable mentions for this year 2024 the one that set the stage for this wonderful how do I even pick the English? For these atrocious stories, we are talking about the person of Drea Michelle. Drea Michelle, if you don't know her, she's a social media influencer, Instagram influencer, who was pregnant. She should have given birth by now. I don't know. I, I didn't follow her story. But Drea Michelle was pregnant for an NBA player, Jalen Green. And ask me how old Drea Michelle is. If you don't know, Drea Michelle is a 39 year old influencer, Instagrammer, Instagram um, a video vixen of those days. She's 39 years old, and the person she got pregnant for, the NBA star Jalen Green, is 22, a year older than her son. She's pregnant for someone who is a year older than her son. If the roles were reversed, we know our society. We will not throw stone for the guy head. If she were a man who was dating a 22-year-old girl and got her pregnant, we would have thrown stones on her head. But since she's a woman, people are giving her leeway. And do you know what the gag is? She has been dating the guy for the past eight months. But she got pregnant a month to dating the guy. Which brings me to this to the point or the fact that she knew she wanted to get pregnant for that guy. She knew that is where she wants to cash out. Because she has been known as someone who has been with several notable men in the um, entertainment industry and the sports in the, uh, the sports industry which is the MBA and all that she was rumored to be or she was rumored to have gone out with Chris Brown Didi French Montana 
and she was also engaged to Orlando Sandrick. She was engaged to Orlando Sandrick, who is an NBA player, but they later scattered her because they said their relationship was toxic, blah blah blah. But to me, in my honest opinion, I think she should have been arrested. Yeah, she should have been arrested because she has never for once gotten pregnant for someone who is not influential. Like, the pattern that I see here is she likes to follow influential people. If this guy, Jalen Green, was working at a um, car wash somewhere or was working at, at Walmart, was working at Target, or was a nobody, I am sure she wouldn't have gone out with this particular guy. Not talk of getting pregnant for him. But this guy is rumored to be worth $400 million. If you give me $400 million, you run dear on me, one, you suffer. That's my generation, generation, they will never, never suffer anymore. We are set for life. But she got together with such a person and she got pregnant. And you know what I heard from the grapevine. That is ex-girlfriend, Jelly. That Jelly's ex-girlfriend, Joya knew her. She, she saw that girl grow up in her presence. As if she knew the girl's family. Then the minute they just broke up, bam. She flew into that particular pit. And she was like, guy, you are for me. Because it's worth a lot. Which is a shame, if you ask me. That is gold digger mentality, if you ask me. See, I know it's not right to be calling somebody a gold digger. I will not want to be called a gold digger because I followed my heart. Let us assume that she followed her heart and she was really, really in love with this particular guy. I won't want to be called a gold digger. So it's not right to call her a gold digger. But what she's giving is gold digger mentality. Not, not that program. It's not that program that she's giving. Because this guy is the same age with her son. Auntie Drea. She's not even that old. She's not that old than me. She's not that older than me. But still, yeah, let's give her the respect that we give to people in Nigeria. That are our age mates. Because she's not old enough to be my mom. So Auntie Drea. Do you know what your son will be going through now? People would have slid into her son's DM and be insulting that guy and be bullying him. That your mom has no self-respect. She went after someone who is your age mate. These people don't consider their children when they are doing these rubbish things. They don't consider what their children will be going through. And we being children who love our parents, we won't go and meet our parents and say, Mom, what you are doing is affecting me. No. We will want to keep it to ourselves. And I pity that young guy. I pity that young guy whose mom did, didn't even consider him before going after somebody at son's age. Which brings me to the next person. The next person that made the news this year for the member of the Cuba community. We're talking about the person of Joey Chavez. Joey Chavez, if you don't know her, or Joey Chavez, if you don't know her, She's um, she's future's baby mama. She had a baby, a child, a baby girl with Bow Wow a few years ago. Then she later got with Future and she's one of his baby mama. She had a boy with him. Do you see the pattern here? She's also an Instagram influencer. If you haven't seen the pattern, she's also an influencer, a former video vixen. You know, she has been rumored to be with D. No baby mama drama at all. So it was cool when she was on Diddy's boat and all that? Nah, I mean, she she knew better. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Be before we go all the way there. Nah, because you know, it, it for me, it's, it's more of a man thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, me and her, we had our discussion about that. Trust me. That might have been the last time she What about the video? Um, That was cool? Nah, I wouldn't even, like, all of that shit really didn't hit like that. Like, it took me, because BT was with me, it took me like... A couple because you know I'm a I don't give a fuck type of person like no shit bother me yeah and, and, and he I, don't really she has been rumored to have dated a lot of notable notable people in the entertainment industry in America and now she's pregnant she's pregnant with Trevon Diggs child and if you don't know who Trevon Diggs is Trevon Diggs is a 25 year old MBA superstar which Joey Chavez is 35 years old. They have a 10 year age gap between them. She's pregnant with his third child, who is also her own third child, because the guy, unlike uh, Jalen Green, this is 
his third child. The Angelin Green, his child that he's having with Joya, is his first child. But um, Joy Chavez is having uh, um, Trevon Diggs' third child, which is not okay. If you look at, well, their age gap is not that much, and the guy is matured enough to know what he's doing. He's 25 for God's sake. He's 25. Though she's also giving Kuga mentality, she's also giving Kuga energy, but theirs is not as atrocious as what uh, Andrea did. What Andrea did, it was betrayal, betrayal, uh, gold degree. If 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 it's even a word, it these women have been rumored to be women who go after men of affluence right from when they were young. And now that they are older, they are going after younger men who have made it in life. If it's not giving gold digger, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. But now, I want to go into the other part of them all that made me put on my camera today. And I was like, I'm going to make a video because this girl is really, really taking the heat. She's really, really going through a lot in this here internet streets. We're talking about the person of... A Rocky Simmons. She's dating uh, a restaurant owner who is 65 years old, and A Rocky Simmons is 21. She's dating someone who is old enough to be a grandfather or a father. And if you don't know who a, who A Rocky is, she's Kimura Lee Simmons' daughter that she had with Russell Simmons, her first husband. And people have been dragging her a lot. People were like, like mother, like daughter, this is generational cause, this is this, this is that. What people have been saying this is generational cause, this is like mother, like daughter, yeah, whatever, is because Kimura Lee Simmons got with Russell Simmons when she was a teenager. And, Ross, and they had an 18-year age gap. She was a teenager when she met Russell Simmons, and Russell Simmons was in his 30s when they got together. Russell Simmons was very influential, very affluent, and he had a lot of money when they met. And now, he's not as rich as he is before. The reason why I said he's not as rich as he was before is because I want to come back to that. So hold on to that particular thing that I just said. He's not as rich as he was before, but he still has money. And Kimura Lee Simmons also has money too, but... It, it, it was not the way they had it when she was with uh, Russell Simmons, if you get my drift now. And Russell Simmons is currently in Bali. He had a lot of essay accusations, so he ran to Bali. And when he ran to Bali, this uh, he had two children with Kimura Lee Simmons. Uh, he had Aoki and her elder sister. Aoki is a graduate of Harvard and she is also... A model. When he ran to Bali, he was staying alone and it was rumored that he is now with somebody else. Uh, after a while, this, um, his daughters came out and they said their dad cut them off. He stopped uh, giving them pocket money and he stopped assisting with their education. Now, after a while, after a oak graduated from Harvard, now she's rumored to be dating this particular restaurant chain owner. And people came out and they were like, she's after the money. She is after the money. If she's not after the money, what is she after? You remember at that cut her off. That's why she's following somebody who can afford the lifestyle that she's used to. I don't think that is the particular case. I think what she's doing is a cry for help. Because I remember... Someone asked her when she did a live and she was like, now the person was like, do you have a boyfriend? She said no. That means this particular person is a sugar daddy. And guys, go and watch the video that she, the live that she did. It was posted on the shade room where she was telling the man to shush, to shut up. My papa mates, she was telling my dad's age mate, when my dad was alive, he was 65 years old, exactly 65 years old when he died. With that particular Eoki uh, Simmons' boyfriend. That's, she's following my dad's age mate and she's telling the man to shush, to shut up. As an African, it grinds my dear. 
to hear when these Americans tell their elders to shut up. But it also happens in Nigeria here to all these men that are letting their daughter's mates call them baby. So I didn't feel too bad for him, but I felt secondhand embarrassment for him when she was telling him to shush. Because I was like, my papa mate, now they tell me to shut up. Oh, be you! Then I was like, no, 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 no. Enough for me. He was the one that disgraced himself. When he went after a young child, he was the one that called embarrassment to himself when he was uh, when he decided to date his granddaughter, his daughter's daughter sage mates. So anything we see, make quite like that. But what I still think is what she's doing is a cry for help. She's telling everybody, she's telling her father, she's telling the world that she has daddy issues, and she needs therapy, not. Um, uh, this one that she's going on, on vacation with uh, sugar daddy she needs therapy she needs someone she needs to even sit her parents down and tell them what she's feeling and it must be towards her father because he was never there what she's feeling why she's doing these things i don't think she's after the money because she's what to do she's not her parents are not broke her mom has money even if her dad cut her off her mom can see her for to give her the lifestyle that she's used to. But now that she's going on vacation with uh, her papa mates, it's not, she's not after money. She doesn't need the money. From where I'm sitting, what I'm seeing, she doesn't need the money. What she needs is the attention. And guys, I'm not saying everybody that has daddy issues will take this route just to get their father's attention or just to get attention. This particular girl, I think... This is the route she chose to get attention from her dad. And I think her dad should really, really sit her down and take her to therapy to offload what she's feeling currently and get her head straight. She was supposed to be the smart one. But guys, what I've noticed is you being book smart doesn't mean you are street smart. Because I've seen a lot of brilliant people who keep making stupid, stupid mistakes that you are like, I thought you were supposed to be the brilliant one. I thought you were supposed to be smart. But they will make mistakes and you'll be like, God, you stupid dude. You are very stupid. We just didn't notice. That's why you know that being street smart is different from being book smart. And I'm going to talk about the difference between street smart and book smart. And why you need to be street smart. Because if she were street smart, if she were street smart, and she had daddy issues, and she wanted to address it, she wouldn't have let the whole world know, well, I'm not teaching anybody. I'm not teaching anybody how to do bad. But there are also people who have sugar daddies, people who are professional sugar babies, who are going after their father's mate. They are not advertising it the way she is doing. She knows she's a celebrity. Because her mom, her dad, they are both celebrities. She knows anything she does will be in the public eye. But she went ahead and did this. Common sense shows that it's a cry for help. She's just trying to get attention. Kimorali Simmons, Russell Simmons, go and get your child. She's crying for help. Give her the help that she needs. Get her therapy. She's crying for attention. Daddy Russell, go and meet your daughter. Give her what she needs. Be in their life. Even though they say yourself, you have your own faults. You run away from responsibility, from your essay, uh, uh, these in charges that you are voting for in America. At least call your children. Call your child. Bring her to order. If she were a Nigerian, if she were a Nigerian and she did this particular thing, it's not like they will, it, since she's a celebrity star, it's not like we have a lot that we tell her. But at least, they would have called family meeting. Her family, if her parents don't even pay attention to her, her family, her father's family and her mother's family, they will come together, they will call family meeting and they will put her in the middle. And they will discuss with her, tell us what a particular, <laughs> tell us what a particular issue is, they tell me to solve it. Her aunties, her uncles, they would have come out of the woodwork and, and they would have spoken to her. My dear, do you need help? Is it money? We will help you. But, it's the western world. People are living, me and my family, me and my family, me and my family. It takes a village to bring up a child. It takes uncles and aunties to be in someone's life, to be like, Come, let me call you to order. Even neighbors, they will call your children to order and be like, Come, what you they do will not make sense. I remember years ago when I was young, we used to pass by one of my mom's friend's house. May I so rest in peace. We used to pass by her house to go and buy biscuits, to go and buy gum, 
chewing gum, as we call it in Nigeria. If we pass front of our house, you should see us through our window. When my mom comes back from the market, she will tell my mom. Because my mom is a trader. So when my mom comes back from the market where she wants to sell, she will call my mom and she will be like, I saw your children go to buy biscuits. Are you the one giving them money to go and buy biscuits? Then my mom will come to the house and she will spank the bejesus out of us. Which I don't think is the way to go. But sometimes when I want to do dumb things, if I remember the beating that I collected when I did that particular stupid thing years ago, till now, even though I'm a young woman, the thing still brings me to order. I still remember that I did this thing and it was stupid. That was when my mom beat me. So I won't do it now. Which I don't think, well, it depends on where you were brought up. Beating is not all that bad to me. When you are doing the wrong thing. It's not those people that beat their child for doing nothing. No. When you are doing the wrong thing, when they flog you want to, your head will reset. As an African, I support spanking. When you don't want to get sense. And I'm not too old to be spanked by my mom. She still dragged my ear once, once when I'm doing rubbish. Which I think this is okay needs. She needs her ears to be dragged and squeezed. Now that she's doing stupid things. Because I think she's bringing disrespect to her family. She's bringing disrespect to all those that know her. By these shenanigans that she's pulling. Because she said she doesn't have a boyfriend. So this baby now, who is he? Is she got that? Do it on a low. Not be saying you want to put her for her eye. I'm not supporting nonsense, but I think she is crying for help, and I think her parents should give her help that she needs. We have come to the end of today's video. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.